Yo, what's going on guys? It's Jaden and welcome to the Zons Academy. Today we're doing part one of the part six series from the mod ship edit that I promised you guys for the special. Because I've been gone and absent and things have been going on. So today we'll be doing motion tracking and after effects in 3D space. I'm going to show you a couple of different things you can do, like 3D text and 2D text. I'm going to give you guys a video clip to experiment with and this is all courtesy of Video Copilot. Now, if you guys saw the video preview, I put my comment down below saying that most of the stuff we'll be talking about today, well, in the tutorials in the upcoming six weeks, will be based from third part, third part person uh, companies, editing companies, and stuff like that, and graphics com companies, and that kind of thing. And it's going to be a mashup uh, tutorial of all of what they, you know, taught. Because I don't want, I, I know when I watch the tutorials, it was very time consuming, and I, I like I like the uh, the whole idea, you know. They're really good at giving tutorials and whatnot, but I would like to bring it down a notch because their videos are 30 minutes, if not more. And I want to kind of I just want to give you guys a quick little overview of cool little things that they teach you. So when I tell you this, basically what I'm teaching you is coming right from the source, which means it's 100% accurate and you can do it professionally no matter what. Now with all that said, guys, I'm gonna show you what we're working with today. So you go. Alright, so right there you saw that the Philadelphia March 7th, 2003 text was kind of, you know, just staying in place, which was motion tracked in 3D space. I used the built-in After Effects motion tracker for this. It was very simple. I'm going to teach you guys how to use it, obviously, and what and what to use with it. It's counter moves and pro moves because you can kind of use it, but you have to use it moderately because it's a built-in 32-bit system recorder. So... It's not going to work as well as an external uh, software program. Like if you were if you were to use uh, Buju, a lot of that's one of the big ones, or something like that, or even Cinema 4D R16, which offers a brand new system for diplomating motion tracking. So I'm gonna make a new composition. I'm gonna I'm basically just gonna recreate what we had here. So I'm just gonna not save. I'm going to link you guys down below to the video clip for city footage that was brought to you by Video Copilot. I'm going to link you to the page, the project page, because I'm not taking any credit for this. This is all video copilot.net. I'll link you down below. Um, you can also watch a tutorial that was a part of that clip. So I want to get that out of my way. That that clip is not mine, obviously. So yeah, find that down below. So I'm going to drag that in here. I don't feel like making my own composition. I want to keep it the size it comes with, which is 1920 by 960 and I'm just gonna make that into a new composition so I'm gonna drag this and put it in this little box right next to the 8 BPC that way I adjust the whole entire time format and the, the the size of the format and everything like that so it does it all for you so the kind of things I want to focus on for motion tracking is where you want your motion track to be and how to use the camera now all you need is one camera solve which is very simple to work with you don't have to worry about having multiple cameras and stuff like that as you can, it's very useless in most terms, unless you're doing advanced editing, which is not what we'll be focusing today. So remember that. So what are we gonna do first? Well, usually what you'll do is you'll color correct it and everything like that. That way you can get what you want. So I'm not gonna do that because we're not worried about color correction. I'm literally just gonna tell you plain forward how to use the camera tracker. So select your uh, video, go to effect, go down to where is it? I forget. Oh uh, man. Perspective. And you can go to 3D camera tracker. Or what you can do is you can go up here to workspace and put to motion tracking. You click your uh, footage and you go to track camera. So that's basically uh, the easy way of doing it. What it's doing right now is it's analyzing the background, obviously, is what it says. But what that means is it's looking for all the points and, th and with the lighting and shadowing and stuff like that, where it would be virtually so it's basically making a virtual copy of every single shadow defect from the composition video footage or not what happens during this process is actually really cool what's happening right now is that while you're sitting here your computer is doing over three billion co uh, communications and calculations according to just two colors which is white and black and i mean it just sounds really stupid i mean why is that exciting it's, re it's really just if you think about it you're doing something that you kind of do with the naked eye, which, you know, pretty cool. Which is why we have this editing program here. Very, very successful, obviously. You could use this kind of method 
uh, almost in a post production kind of thing with professional shots and whatnot, which is really cool. So it just camera solved, which basically means it just adds up all the communications. And now when you uh, are ready, it will show you all of the motion tracking points you have here. And this part's actually really cool because it like, just looks really cool. Don't worry, it doesn't stay there when you actually render it out. Those points are literally just there to, 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 to show you. So what you want to do is you want to kind of guess where you're going to have your text be. Or not text, whatever your motion tracking. Like how, wh what position you want it at, where it's going to be, and that's what you base it on. So if you look right here, that little red circle is the perspective point of what it would look like if you put it in the 3D space. So if you made text, the text would be facing you exactly how that red surface is facing you. So if you go over here, the text would be facing vertically instead of horizontally. If you go over here, it would be at a it would be at an angle. So literally, it's a guessing game kind of thing. Uh, but I like being very very uh, I like being like perfect. So sometimes I look for things like in the background, like right there, that's perfect. But I'm I'm gonna show you guys how to do it the right way. So you. I'm going to motion track and line up with this building. So how am I going to do that? I'm going to select three tracking points that we're going to use. So to do that, you'll hold shift, click one of them, click another, and then click another. And right now it's perfectly aligned and you're ready to go. So now what we're going to do is I'm going to show you guys how to motion track a solid first, and then we'll do other things. So I'm going to right click and go to, two, and go to create solid or solid create solid I don't want to oh yeah create solid in camera because it's your first it's your first uh, track and it'll give you this blue solid so first I'm gonna duplicate this by pressing control D and we're gonna go down to the bottom layer turn it off and press enter and we're gonna name this uh, footage data that way we don't ever lose our 3d motion tracker because this is where all of our points will be. So when you select it and you go up here and click that, you'll have all of this to you. But you don't you don't you don't need that with the one that we duplicated. That way you don't have to be worried about losing it. So I'm gonna delete it. We're good there. Alright, so if I scrub through this, you can see that the solid is perfectly aligned. The camera and everything's working marvelously or yeah, whatever. So we have our camera. I'm gonna name this guy cam because that's what it really is. So that's what we name the camera go and then I'm gonna name this I don't really care about what I name this I want to align it with the building so I'm gonna go over here to my rotate tool and I'm only gonna be using the Z rotate tool because if you use any of the other ones it will disalign and it will look very discombobulated compared to the actual building so just use Z space for when you rotate and orbit around so I'm gonna I'm gonna align it like that no oops Ooh. a little bit more all right boom all right there, there we go that's cool so there's our solid uh if you want you can size it down to be the the size of the building or whatever you don't have to do that but what you can do is you can go up here to effect video copilot element now this is the second part of the tutorial i'll be showing you guys how to put a 3d object using element 3d so right now your your solids uh your, your solids all good so you don't you don't that's that's how you motion track you guys are you're all finished if that's all you want to learn how to do is motion track you're good you can stop watching this video but if you want to get more stuff want to learn more cool things you can keep on watching so i'm gonna go here name this element 3d because now I'm getting rid of the solid and transforming it into a 3D model. Effect, video copilot, element. Okay. I'm gonna go to scene setup, and I'm going to get a. Let's see. No, I don't. Want, I don't know why that's. I'm going to get. Actually, I have the license for that. I'm gonna install that really quick. Sorry. <laughs> this is so unprofessional. I'm so sorry. I'm gonna install that really quick. There it goes. All right, scene setup, motion design. I guess it doesn't work, whatever. I'll have to email him about that. That's why I didn't. I'm gonna find something. I don't want to use anything. I, I would like to use something that's very cool. So you guys are like, oh my god. 
else we've got here uh, I'll, I'll use a I'll use a f how about a floating rock I know that's really cool so we'll get this up uh, rock it's a very nice rock I don't like that rock let's see what this rock looks like come on rock element has encountered an unrecoverable oh, whatever I don't care all right there we go I'm gonna get rid of this one so here's our rock very nice rock okay wait for this to load all right my thing is in very very pixelated right now oh there it goes all right so what it's doing i don't know what it's doing right now i think what i'm gonna do is i'm just going to create a new solid because it seems to be having calculation errors all right that's what i'm gonna do so I'm, I'm gonna create another solid i'm gonna get rid of that one though so new solid and i'm gonna name this element there we go get rid of the other one Bye -bye. all right i apologize for that and go back to effect and go back to video copilot and go back to element i don't know what that was about it usually works the video card does not support select configuration please reduce the other side what do you mean my graph i have a titan i have two titan all right i'm gonna ignore that i'm going to ignore that i'm good nope no 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 all right i'm back i apologize the element 3d thing isn't working i don't feel like fixing right now so we're gonna work with 2d text instead of 3d text because who cares am i right all right so as i was gone you guys have no idea what happened because i wasn't present i had to fix a bunch of things it took me like 20 minutes okay 20 minutes i had to like redo photoshop or uh, after effects it doesn't matter let's get back to the tutorial uh, uh, uh. all right so I'm gonna do 2D text. We have a solid track already like we did earlier. So what am I gonna do with that? I'm gonna tell you what I'm gonna do with that. We're gonna rotate it against Z space because we want it to be matched up with the building. So let's do that, fam. There we go. I'm gonna move it down, even though it doesn't really matter. We're good. And I'm gonna turn it off. Why? Because I said so. So I'm gonna click it, press P, click position, go up to edit and go to copy. Type your text now. So this is where you want to type something. So I'm going to type Designs Academy. Oops. F for the fun. Right, there we go. And I'm gonna I'm gonna increase that in size a little bit. Or no, I don't do that. Increase it in size a bit. Gonna change the color to a nice a green tint. There we go. amazing i'm gonna make this kind of kind of i wanted to make it seem like it's it's closer together that's eh, a little too close all right there we go i'm gonna scale this up right here let's do this that is not at all what i was expecting but we're good we'll work with it be bigger I have already OCD guys I'm so sorry about this Damn. I don't care mm. that down not that far right, that's, that's good I, that's all I'm gonna do I'm done I'm done all right, so now what we're gonna do is we're gonna press P on our text and we're gonna get, uh, select position again and go to edit and go to paste. Make sure to take capitals off. And now it's not motion track. Oh yeah, <laughs> I forgot to turn on the 3D space. I forgot to tell you guys about this. There's a little thing here, it matters because in 3D space you have to turn this kind of thing on. So this little box thing basically means 3D space. So just flip that on. And you'll be good. So our text is motion tracked. We're we're legit. We're all good. Good in the hood. Just gonna gonna position that to be like right here, like an urban film. Thank you. Mm. 
No. I want to like make it aligned with the building kind of thing. Feel me? Ooh, that's cool. All right, let's try that. That's sweet. I like it. All right, so that's that's basically him who can motion track text. I mean, it gets a lot more better if you had, you know, a 3D text brought to you by a video copilot sponsor. No, I'm just kidding. Video copilot, you're very disappointed. You're very disappointed. I'm very disappointed in you for my Element 3D not participating for the video. I'm gonna give you a thumbs down and a thumbs up because if it wasn't for you, this video wouldn't be wouldn't be happening. Okay, guys, uh, my mic just discombobulated. I I appreciate you guys watching the video. I hope this motion tracking for part one of our part six series was fun it was fun for me it was fun for you too if it helped you make sure you leave a like down below it told me like it's gonna take me like an hour to edit this video because of all the stuff i have i went through so we got with all that said guys i've been jaden if it did if you did if you if you if you enjoyed the video, leave a like. If you have any questions, comments, and or concerns, let me know down below in the comment section. If you have any personal questions, you want to contact me personally, go down below in the description and look for my Skype, which is Boomfire Productions. If you guys want to find the video clip I was using, go down below in the description to find the video co-pilots, just demolish city or something, whatever, destruction files. You'll find a whole folder full of things. Just get to the city forward and to MOV, and you can throw that right in the After Effects and work with that. With all that said, guys, I've been Jaden, and I'm out. Peace.